Welcome to a quick and short video. A question came up about what best to use as a training sword when you're doing cutlass. So as you see in our channel, uh, next to the broadsword we also use um, shorter cutlasses and hangers. Which is kind of interesting because not only the historical context but also uh, it is great fun to use them in combat. Uh, not to play a little bit of pirate, yeah, but of course to play a little bit of pirate. However, um, it's, it's really fun to use them, especially because they are shorter, you can do like drills in you know, like uh, close quarters and whatnot, and therefore it's great fun. So, um, yeah, essentially, a cutlass is a shorter broadsword or backsword. Depending on the model, uh, some historical um, cutlasses, so like uh, issued cutlasses in the Royal Navy, an example, they were quite, quite uh, long uh, compared to French uh, examples or, or other examples. So uh, you cannot say a cutlass is like this or that exactly, especially when you go back in history into the early times, the golden age of piracy, uh, where you find lots of different types of Duzak-like cutlasses and, and hunting swords and hangers and such things. So back to the topic, what to use in uh, um, training and sparring for cutlass training. So the traditional tool for cutlass training as we know it from uh, photos and pictures of Royal Navy drills would be a single stick. So this one is more a modern version with a plastic, um, a plastic hand protection here, a plastic basket um, and uh, an ash stick. I would recommend, so this is a shorter version, so like cutlass lengths, however this is quite light. So for a start it's not bad, but you could also start with a proper length single stick of regular lengths. However, um, if you want to train in you know, like close quarters and you really you know, create a surrounding, uh, an environment where you don't have enough space, you can also use a short version. However, this is of course a round stick, it's not a blade and um, yeah, of course it's quite light. The next option, especially very good regarding safety, uh, and they are affordable, I think, like these kind of soft swords. Okay, so you have, uh, they are not too light and they give some impact, um, but um, this is like a regular broadsword length. They also have a curved version, they have a little bit of a lighter version and a heavier version. Uh, you have here kind of this uh, saber guard, uh, you have kind of a rubber handle here, and it's all, it's all very tight and safe and uh, you can just use a fencing mask and light gloves. If you are um, more um, experienced, like we do it, is you can also do it with, um, without any protection. So this is also something you can do with that. Some eye protection would be recommended, but however, it's a little bit like when you get hit in the face with that, it's a little bit like you get a hit in the face when you are boxing, uh, sparring. So, Depends on your personal preferences if you um, want to wear a fencing mask, but you don't need more than a fencing mask and gloves, in my opinion. Um, yeah, downside, these are of course again more like uh, broadsword lengths. Um, if you want something shorter, I don't know if you could shorten them and maybe tape them again. And I don't think that they are safe uh, after that. Um, but anyways, they are already quite light, but they have some impact, they are not too light, so I think they are a, 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 good, um, a good tool to start with. Next on the list are the Rawlings or Red Dragon uh, cutlasses. So Rawlings and Red Dragon were kind of the first synthetics I saw, uh, and many used it, them in the beginning. Um, they are quite nice, they are quite affordable. Uh, what I really like is that you can also switch things, you can, everything fits into each other. I think this blade is also used for the Nessa and Felchior, I, I think. Um, and uh, this is their cutlass, so you can have this basket hilt and grip and pommel, and you can also have the long, uh, longer blade uh, for backsword training, and then when you want to, you just buy only the blade, you know, save some money, and then you can just switch it because you are unscrew it here and it's, it's, you know, within some minutes you have a second uh, weapon. So they are not bad, they are kind of flexible, um, they are also kind of long, but again, I saw some people shorten it to a more uh, a shorter cutlass length. However, I think they are a little bit top heavy, but not in a, in a bad way, in a positive way, they are a little bit top heavier and um, yeah, you can train 
quite safe and realistic with them. A um, little bit of the downside is we already have baskets which broke here. It's not too bad because when you wear padded gloves um, uh, with the basket here, then it's totally okay. And um, if you get really hit very hard on the basket here, that of course gives up a little bit so you can you feel hits on the hand. But again, you want to fence like, um, uh, yeah, you have a proper cutlass, so uh, you take care of your hands and fencing. So um, these are quite nice. Um, I can recommend them, especially because they are uh, kind of affordable. Last ones on the list is Black Fencer. Of course, Black Fencer is very well known for their very good synthetic training weapons. A uh, good thing here is you have proper metal hills. The weight and balance is much more like a real sword, or some examples are like a real sword. Um, they are still kind of affordable compared to a steel weapon, of course. And um, they are very well made and give you a realistic feeling. So now, this one is their regular Dusak Cutlass. Don't know how they call it. Um, we shortened the basket here because it was too, too big, too bulky, too wide. And this one is kind of hefty. So this is really a little bit heavy. The blade is very, very stiff. Um, so this one is nice if you want to have a real good, you know, realistic cutlass feeling. But um, a little bit on the heavier side. So be careful with that. And as I said, we shortened the basket here. So now the weight and balance is much better. This one they also have regular in their shop. This is the so-called Kliwang. It's not really a cutlass because it was not used by the Navy as far as I know, but the Dutch uh, colonial forces used that in close quarter combat in the jungle and whatnot. Um, so this has this kind of, to, uh, towards the blade it gets broader. From the length it's kind of the same. Um, it's also uh, more top heavy, so it was made realistically. Uh, I think the design was created by people who are really um, yeah, training with a, with a Kliwang and, and no uh, historical example, so it was a longer process until these things were ready. So uh, this one is with a classic um, yeah, outside guard. Uh, of course you can get a left-handed version and you can also get, because they have different hills in uh, Black Fencer, you can also get kind of a symmetrical hill. So we have one example, I have it not here, but we have one example with a symmetrical hill. And you could even go for this blade and tell them to attach it to a basket hill. Uh, which is also working. So, um, yeah, you can even come up with your own uh, custom design and ask them to do that. And they are always really helpful at Black Panther to, to, to create your personal uh, weapon, even though it will take a little bit of a while. But if you want to have some already in stock, you can go for this one or that one.